Hi guys, welcome back to part 4 of Detroit Become Human. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. We are back with Connor today on the 5th of November 2838 at 11.21 and uh, if you guys wouldn't mind please give me a thumbs up when you watch this video even if you didn't like it give me a thumbs up because I see the algorithms of YouTube has changed and the more thumbs up you get the quicker I can get uh, monetization done and so on so uh, if you guys wouldn't mind do me a and give me a thumbs up on the video Okay, so here is another familiar actor. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Well, I'm kind of a nice guy, so let me buy him a drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the room. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Not happening. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. Lieutenant had to take his 
went for a few months, so he thought he drove by, so he was going on. That's the 20 pounds of bottle. Smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay, time to go and look for some evidence. If you guys were wondering why I am doing this video this way again, it's because I was stuck at work. Well, they had strikes going on and uh, I didn't have access, or actually I couldn't get out of the gate, so I decided to play the game this morning while I was at work. And so unfortunately the only way this I could do it perfect. was to play the game first no and do the voice over like now. So let's see what we can find. That's the kind of drug that's going about. It's also the same kind of drug that I think Coral Sun is using. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Ugh, here we go with a taste test again. I think it freaks out people. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. like to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. I like this uh, reconstruction part, it really gives you an idea of what happened. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. 
Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. So well, that means he might be in the house.
think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some Ethereum. Lost some what? Ethereum. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. So at least my suspicion about him being in the house was correct and uh, following the blood trail is actually quite obvious where he is hiding. I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something.
just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! If you were given a choice, would you have told him? Well guys, thanks again for watching this video up to this point. Just remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of any further uploads like this one. And please hit that like button so that I can get my uh, algorithm running. As you guys can see, we actually went straight through the line. Uh, we didn't miss much. Um, we went quite well through the storyline. So until next time guys, cheers.